Assassin's Creed Odyssey is looking very promising and its most recent trailers got us very excited. In this video, we are diving deep into this open world action game. What can we expect? How is this game any different from its predecessors? There are enough questions that need answers. Here are 10 things you need to know about Assassin's Creed Odyssey. Because Odyssey takes place hundreds of years before Assassin's Creed Origins, there are no assassins yet in this game. It's being rumored that we'll see the birth of the Templar Order, but that's all speculation. You get to play Assassin's Creed Odyssey as one of two characters. You need to choose between Alexios and Cassandra at the beginning of the game. His nose is so high in the air, he couldn't find the statue of Artemis Agrotera if he was standing on her head. There's no switching between these characters, and you will get the same story and gameplay experience with the both of them. There's a role-playing game approach to the way you build your character. Weapon and skill choices will determine whether you're bashing people's head in with a club or sneaking around in the shadows to perform stealth kills. There are three skill trees that you can work with, Assassin, Hunter, and Warrior, but you don't have a hidden blade. Odyssey takes place even before AC Origins, and that's the game where the hidden blade was introduced. Instead, you'll be using a broken spear that belonged to King Leonidas. It's always at your disposal and it can be upgraded along the way. The spear actually functions in the same way as the Hidden Blade does, so it will still feel familiar. Combat will be mostly similar to AC Origins. The developers from both games work closely together, but the team from Odyssey has expanded on the RPG mechanics. Odyssey will introduce special abilities to the combat. During a fight, you build up your ability meter and spend that adrenaline on special moves. Take a powerful Spartan kick for example, or a melee move to steal someone's shield, or a ranged attack that combines multiple arrows into one attack. Weapons have their own stats, and so do individual pieces of armor. Upgrading and replacing these is an essential part of the progression. Because of the RPG mechanics, doing an insta-kill assassination is often dependent on your skills and the level of your enemy. If you're not strong enough, your assassination attempt will fail. Major targets won't be easy to kill, but you're able to pick skills, buffs and weapons that will enhance your ability to perform stealth assassinations. The developers promise it's still possible, but it will definitely not be as easy as it was in the older Assassin's Creed games. During the story and side missions, you will have opportunities to handle a situation in a certain way. Based on your actions, some characters or factions will see you in a more positive or negative way. This is why I sent for you. These relationships will have an influence on the ending of the game. Details about the choices are not yet known, but doing certain missions will close other paths. And these missions aren't about running to a marker on a map anymore as the game tends to describe your target instead of showing it. If you do multiple quests for a certain person, things might get a bit more personal between you as you start to bond. Fans of Mass Effect's romancing options will be pleased with this new development. Hoping when the smoke clears we could find somewhere quiet. 
And what exactly do we have in common? Even though there are no official assassins yet in AC Odyssey, that doesn't mean that there won't be any assassinations. Characters in this game will remember your actions. If they don't like what you've been doing, it's very likely they will hire a mercenary to take you out. There's no formal police system in ancient Greece and people basically serve the highest bidder. You can pay off the bounty on your head or accept the consequences and fight the mercenaries that are after you. They can show up at the most inconvenient moments and if you're able to take one out, their gear will be yours. But these mercenaries are very tough so you need to be prepared at all times. Assassin's Creed has always been about the battle between the Templars and the Assassins. But AC Odyssey tells a bit of a different story. A big part of the game takes place during the Peloponnesian War. It's the biggest conflict ever seen in an Assassin's Creed game. During these battles, you will need to help the Spartan army to fight back against the Athenians. Taking out random soldiers will have little impact, but silencing a commander might turn the tide in Sparta's favor. It's almost like you're playing a video game version of 300. And yes, if you manage to take out an Athenian hero, that will devastate them and basically guarantee a victory. I'm here to kill the Ocles, not go to war. But we're outnumbered. And the Ocles fights with the fury of Ares. Join us in battle. Fans of Assassin's Creed Black Flag will be happy to hear that you'll get a boat in Odyssey as well. It will be a lot more prominent compared to the naval segments in Origins. You'll be sailing the Mediterranean using your ship. It can be upgraded and it will also serve as a mobile hub, so you can fill up on your potions and stuff like that. Naval combat and boarding other ships are elements that will return as well. To successfully command your ship, you need to assemble a crew. You can obtain up to 4 lieutenants for your ship and each of them will provide a massive buff, like increased endurance for your rowing team or double the amount of arrows on your archers. Assassin's Creed Odyssey offers the biggest open world in the history of the series. It's 1.6 times bigger than Origins. About half of that is water though, so you will definitely need your boat. The story will take you from Crete and Mykonos in the south to the inland forest surrounding the city of Delphi. The game will feature seasonal changes and it has a full day and night cycle. Every area supposedly has a unique feel to it. No wonder they are including a photo mode immediately at launch. <laughs> Ubisoft wants to try something new with AC Odyssey. The gaming company wants to provide their upcoming action game with weekly content updates. Details are not yet known, but they want to provide something new and fresh so gamers keep coming back. Microtransactions come in the shape of weapons or boosters. These are completely optional and serve as a way for players to make the game easier. So it's mainly aimed at gamers who lack the time to really dive into Odyssey. Assassin's Creed Odyssey launches on October 5th for PlayStation 4, Xbox One, and PC. Are you hyped for this game? Let us know in the comments or look us up on Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook. Socrates!
You just make friends wherever you go, don't you? Cassandra, what a pleasant surprise. What brings you to Thelos?